It's been two months since Toy Jackson saw her daughter, Latoya Brown. The last time Jackson saw Brown was the day before the April 27th tornado that tore through West Alabama. My daughter said that she was leaving with a friend and that she would be right back. That would be the last time Jackson would see her daughter, Latoya. Jackson says her daughter's phone records indicate calls were made the day of the tornado. She decided she wanted to leave and stated that she would be back. The following day, I remember seeing in my backyard the tornado. I can tell that it looked like a nightmare. This tornado is now on the ground. It looks like it's a now sizable tornado. We're watching live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. Get in your safe place right now. We have a tornado on the ground. It was like a, you know, an experience that you can never forget. It was kind of horrific. I was trying to contact my sister Latoya, and her phone kept going to voicemail. So we got into the car and went down to the other end of the town where the tornado hit. And as we was on the interstate, we were stuck for hours. They was trying to clean bodies and debris from the interstate. After leaving the apartment area where I thought she might have been at, I tried and my mother tried to contact family members to find out if Latoya was okay or if she had been with other family members and no one seemed to know where she was at the time. My mother contacted the police and they came out and did a um, report to start an investigation on my sister's whereabouts. They stated that it could have been impossible kidnapping on the behalf that they did not find her body in any of the rubbish. It was so many bodies like that was unaccounted for at the moment that people had to come to identify and my sister was nowhere to be found. Once we made the report, at first it seemed that they was going to help, but as time went on, it seemed that all directions were pointing towards my mother. It's okay. Why did this go from a missing person to, to classify the homicide? Well, from what the officers told me, they said that because she had left the day before the storm, that she's not a, considered a missing person of the storm. So right. that comes from a missing person to now Did a you have homicide. any kind of fight with her or anything? None. Me and my daughter had a beautiful relationship. That you believe your other daughter, Tarika, may be responsible? Uh, what I said was they asked the question, do I have, do I, has my daughter ever been into an argument with anyone? And I said that, well, her and her sister argued from time to time. And her sister and her had an argument on Facebook where Tarika had called her a name on Facebook and she said, you're dead, I'm going to kill you. You a liar, how dare you say him black miss on me? Your Why? story has changed four or five times. You Whatever. are accusing me Whatever. of hiding my child me, me when you I wrote am. on the Facebook, uh, I'ma kill you. Really? You're dead to me. Really? Okay. You didn't do that? I, no, okay. I did you not. didn't do no, that, Tarika. No, yes, no, you did. did. No, never been in trouble, never even had a ticket. So what I look like doing anything to my sister? What I look like? I have a good life. She's the faking one. Tarika came up. here. No, she did six, seven and months. I admit later. that I Tarika, did. Tarika came here and took a lie detector test. Let's get it. And we're gonna read it Let's now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, liar. Let's get it. Uh, Tarika came here today and we asked her, regarding the disappearance of your sister, do you know for sure who caused it? And you answered no. Regarding the disappearance of your sister, did you participate in any way to cause it? You answered no. Regarding the disappearance of your sister, do you know where she is now? And you answered no. And the results of your lie detector test came back all the same, and it came back that Tarika told the truth. I hate you! I hate you! Toy, uh, the mother of Latoya, you came here today and you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. Concerning your daughter's disappearance. Yes. And we asked you, do you know for sure who was involved in your daughter's disappearance? And you said no. Were you involved in any way in the disappearance of your daughter? And you answered no. Do you know the whereabouts of your missing daughter now? And you said no. And the results for your lie detector test, Toy, uh, the results came back all the same, and it came back that you did not tell the truth. I did not tell the truth. I knew it. I did not tell the truth. No, Steve, I did tell the truth. I did tell the truth. I
truth. And my son was with me the whole time. Oh, my I baby, didn't tell, tell me, the truth. Don't let me go, please. I didn't tell the truth. I called this up because people are saying that I may have had something to do with my daughter's I know I called this up because I said you this, are this, this, the bottom this, of the situation. This, this certainly. I did not do nothing to my child. This certainly is not going to help you. You know where? I didn't do nothing to my child. Um. I said, I, I, tell you. I did not have a gut. I was that, it was that uh, way the whole time. I didn't have a gut feeling on this. Oh, and, I got, and I got to say, I'm, I'm shocked by these results. I really am. I'm shocked. All I got to ask you is why lie. I'm not lying, Jabron. You were there with me. These tests are not true. I called this show so I can clear Mom, my name. Come on, these they did not give me the results. These are professional. They've been doing this for years. Ain't but least of all, they did no way not they give me the results. I asked them over and over. I do anything to my daughter. I didn't do anything to my daughter. I did not do anything to my daughter yesterday. Yesterday, I did not do anything to my daughter. That's your guilt trip. You That's why she blamed me everybody around home. Okay. I believe the only reason why you haven't been charged yet is because they haven't found your daughter's body. That's wrong. I only hope that someday they find your daughter's body and that whatever happened to your daughter, whatever justice can be brought for her does come to whoever needs justice brought upon them. And I think and I'm, I do too. And I think I'm looking but at Steve, that person. I never. You I never. can get off my stage. I never. Go. 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 My brother Deshaun was brutally murdered. No one was there to hear his cries. No one was there to help him. I got the phone call saying that my brother was dead and that the dogs attacked him. I believe that he was brutally beaten, but what I heard was that it could have been some dogs. I never believed it for one second, looking at the scene. When I actually had a chance to try to talk to my cousin and look him in his face, he didn't want to talk to me. He didn't want to talk to nobody. He didn't want to say nothing to nobody. Chuck said he thought my brother had a seizure and that the dogs attacked him. But I don't think that was true at all. I think that Chuck is a suspect. Even if he didn't physically have anything to do with it, I feel like he knows something that we need to know. They murdered my brother. I don't know specifically who, but I know for sure that this was not an accident. Uh, Chuck. Those are your cousins on tape. Uh, what do you have to say about what they're saying? Um, I can understand why they feel that way. Um, when I came home, you know what I'm saying, I noticed everything. I was hysterical. I ain't really know what to do, you know what I'm saying, to see my loved one just like that's their loved one, you know what I'm saying? He was like my brother, too. And this is just a really horrific, tragic story. When he either uh, hit his head, had a seizure, whatever happened, right. when he's laying on the ground, the dogs basically rip him apart. I had a young, I had a three-year-old and I had a 10-year-old pit bull, but they knew him. So it was like, when I, for, me to, for me to make that determination as far as them doing something, so that was the first thing that came to mind, because I came in and my dog was licking him. The coroner uh, believes that he did not have a seizure. Absolutely, I heard that. And that he did suffer blunt trauma. Now, the blunt trauma could be from hitting his head against something, yeah, falling. Say he was next to the table, but it could, but I, I mean, it could be that because it was some other Do you know it, it, why anybody would want to hit him in the head? With um, the blunt object? It, it, was, it was like a little quarrel going on between him and another friend of ours, and we, we was cool. And I didn't know how really deep it was, neither did my cousin. So you, you're on the show today, obviously. You took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. To prove to his family that you're not involved in any way with the murder of Deshaun. Absolutely. OK. You have a lot of questions, and you believe that you don't know exactly how your son died. I don't. OK. Well, I do. Tell me. The final report was blunt force trauma to the head and neck. And I saw my son from the face up. That's not what I saw. Somebody beat the crap out of him. I believe, he, I believe you know something, Chuck. Uh, Auntie, I promise you. I believe you know if something. If I know anything, you think I'm going to let this go unsolved? I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that on my soul. I wouldn't do that. Uh, Chuck came here. Took a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you participate in any way in Deshaun's death? He answered no. Did you kill Deshaun? He answered no. Do you know for sure who killed Deshaun? He answered no. And 
the results inconclusive due to illegal drug use. Um, and, 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 but you knew, you knew not to take drugs, though. You knew not to take drugs wow. before you got here. Okay, we gave you told all of us that, man. That was like four or five days. It don't matter. You knew what you was coming up here to do, bro. But you don't want the fingerprint. What are you saying? I was told I was cool. This is first off, Steve. We was supposed to take a test yesterday. The same results was yesterday, and it's today. Are you serious? I haven't did. But you don't want people to exclude you, though. I ain't did anything. But you want people how we gonna exclude you? We still don't got no answers. Can we do it again? Okay. So we tested you yesterday. We got the inconclusive because of drug test. And then we test him today again. He's, so He's not tested. You, we gave you uh, the drug test that we give everybody when we give them, and you had marijuana and cocaine in your system. Marijuana stays in your system a long you time. You shouldn't have right? did it at all. Does, but we're we're coming here cocaine. for a reason. Right. We coming here for a reason. That's my child. I'm tired. That's my child. He took from me. Now I ain't got time to keep going through this. How how we gonna exclude you if you don't wanna exclude yourself? Let me tell you something. As of right now, I blame you. I ain't got no other person to blame. I blame you. Because if you couldn't do right for this. At least for this, after all this time. I blame you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.